The Connecticut River is the largest river in New England. It meanders its way through the hills and forests of northern New England between Vermont and New Hampshire and discharges itself in Long Island Sound. This leviathan consumes over 11,263 square miles of the Northeast. Traced by many cities and small towns, it is an icon of New England lifestyle. Though seemingly beautiful and peaceful by day, its undulating coils hide many stories and secrets along its path to the Devil's Belt. One is a mysterious glowing thing that lurks in its waters. This is Strange History. I'm your host, Michael Gerard. In 1956, a portion of the Connecticut River was dammed up for the purpose of hydroelectric power production. Though formerly named the Samuel Moore Reservoir, the residents of Littletown, New Hampshire, refer to it as Moore Lake. It has become a staple for summer fun for the people of Littleton. But on the evening of May 20th, 1968, a few would find something other than fun at Moore Lake. Around 3 a.m. Monday morning, what had been a quiet evening for the night officer of Littletown Police Station came to a sudden end when three seemingly terrified youths stormed into the station. They were so delirious, Officer Miller only heard, Red glow on the water, and Thing, in the anxious chatter. The one thing that Officer Miller did understand was that whatever it was these three saw, it had terrorized them. Richard, his wife Cindy, and Michael were now feeling safe in the company of the officer. Soon they were relaxed enough to begin to clearly tell their story. That evening, the three of them had decided to go fishing for horned pout at Samuel Moore Lake. They decided on a remote spot west of Route 135. After negotiating two miles of winding dirt road, they found themselves at a picnic area with a boat launch along the east side of the lake around 1 a.m. The first hour was uneventful. Though they had not gotten a nibble, they still were enjoying the peaceful night. Around 2 a.m., Michael suddenly noticed a strange red glow in the water. It was adjacent to a rock ledge about a quarter mile from their location. Though odd, they had no reason to be concerned and soon forgot about it. That is, until they noticed how unusually quiet it had become. No frogs croaking, no animals moving around in the woods, Richard explained. No night noises at all. So quiet that all they could hear was the plop of the lures and the gurgling they made as they reeled them in. Suddenly they noticed the red glow had now moved away from the ledge and now was in the lake in front of them. Look at that, Richard shouted as he noticed it was only 30 feet from the dock. Richard described it as a whitish mound about two feet wide, extending a foot above the surface. Just above the waterline was what appeared to be two red glowing eyes. What was even more frightening was that behind the mound was what appeared to be an even larger shape lurking in the shadows. Michael would later describe it as having a head of an alligator submerged up to its eyes. The next day, Littleton Police Chief McIntyre sent officers to the lake to investigate the incident further. What was found was horned pout strewn all along the shore near the dock. All that remained of the fish were heads, spines, and tails. It was as if they were consumed by something with a very large appetite. Though no one was quite sure what those three had encountered that evening, the one thing they were sure of was they had seen something that had frightened them. Locals that lived close to the lake reported later sightings of an odd red glowing. Many rumors about other sightings and strange events at Moore Lake continued, though there were no close encounters like that of Richard, Mike, and Cindy. To this day, what was seen still remains a mystery. Though there have been no sightings of the glowing thing in many years, on some occasions, an evening angler notices a strange calm fall upon the lake. 
Some say they get an eerie sensation of being watched by someone or something. We hope you enjoyed this bit of New England lore. And be sure to stop by the page for the story on our blog where you find a map that will show you the location of the Samuel Moore Reservoir. We hope you'll join us again for forgotten history and unique folklore of New England on Strange History. Strange History